morning everybody it's Christmas Eve we got a busy two days ahead of us we've got a lot of stuff to get done this morning before we get to the festivities uh, you can see the hay there in the background we got to get that uh, got to get that off and in the field for the critters uh, trying to do it early this morning while it's frost on the ground still kind of frozen that way uh, we don't tear up the field so uh, anyway we're gonna run back to the neighbors borrow his tractor for the morning uh, so we can get that hay off there and get it out in the field so y'all sit back and we'll get her going here a friend of ours he's got uh, he brought over I think three or four does in a buck the other day uh, they were going out of town for a week and a half so we told him we'd watch them uh, the buck though keeps getting out of the pen he jumps the fence so we got him loaded up in the trailer we're going to take him back to their place here in a little bit but uh, we'll feed the goats in here and we'll shut this door and get them tied in or secured in the barn so I can put the bale of hay out without them running out of the pen
All right, y'all. I've actually got my to-do list done for today. Um, I got that goat taken back home to the neighbors. Got all his animals fed and taken care of. And got back to the house and um, got the stock trailer down here. Load up the hogs. Uh, we'll be taking them, taking two more to the butcher on Friday afternoon. Go down here and have a look at them real quick. They're all still doing good. I mean that still growing like crazy but it's getting ready to turn good and cold and I've actually had this appointment set for them for about a month and a half now so it's time for them to get going but uh, I've got four left and I've got um, I'm gonna be taking two I'm hoping the two biggest ones are the ones that load up first um, this is what Tuesday so I won't be hauling them till Friday so I got that trailer set up way ahead of time let them get used to it and then um, but I'm hoping the two biggest ones get in and then we'll take these two and we'll butcher them ourselves so uh, probably if you want to see the take them to the butcher check out a I'll tag another video of mine uh, the last batch where we, where we took six hogs at once to the butcher um, I think once we get the last two hogs out of here, we're going to have to come back and seed this. Uh, it's nothing but mud right now. You can see all the mud there. All the way around. Just solid mud. But that's pig heaven. All right, thank y'all for watching. Uh, we'll be getting these hogs to the butcher here next couple of days. Uh, we'll be butchering a couple ourselves here soon. We also got a lamb to butcher, so uh, make sure you check back for those videos. But uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.